Greetings friends, it's Remus here and in this video we're going to take a quick look at everything that's going to happen in the next patch. You might wonder why we didn't get anything really new in this one and through that I say, I don't know. We didn't get any new skins or reworks or new champions so nothing big in this patch and since the new patch cycle will start next Tuesday when this patch will also be added to live servers I doubt we're going to get anything new Monday so probably those are all the changes we're going to see in this patch so we get a new login screen team for the turkey championship so that's only if you play there probably you're not going to see it in another way some skin bios have been added for the high stakes skins those are the card skins for Ezreal, Twisted Fate, Morde, Kaiser, Syndra and Shako and then some balance changes Atrox received buff to his healing from the E, also a ratio increase to his ultimate. Akali received a minor nerf, her ultimate damage is lowered a bit. I don't mind it, though I would like actually a buff to the ultimate, to don't have to wait so much to recast it. I would love to reduce that or even remove that, or at least if you only use one part of the ultimate to have half the cooldown, not full cooldown. Next, Brom received a small nerf, his base HP is lowered a little bit. Nar also received a small nerf to his armor. Lucian received an increase of his bonus AD to his Q, but apparently those are not the final values, so more iterations might be coming. Renekton received a small buff to his E Dice Fury bonus. The armor's reduction is increased and also the damage is increased. Ryze received a nerf to his W's root from 2 seconds to 1.5 seconds. And this is probably the biggest nerf Sejuani received a nerf to her E. The damage is lowered, but the biggest nerve is the ultimate. The Ice Storm's low duration is lowered from 3 seconds to 1 second. This is pretty damn big, so I don't know if this will remain, but I, I think it's pretty big. Trandor received a small nerf as well, his E. The cooldown is increased and the slow is changed a bit, though it's bigger at uh, maxed, but it's lower at low levels. Vayne received a small buff to her Q. The cooldown is lowered in uh, early game. And Victor's passive, the item that you can buy, was changed a little bit. The first Mark 1 cost is lowered, but the perfect is a little bit increased. Right, and apparently those are all the changes for the new patch. I don't know if you're going to get anything else on Monday, I don't think so, but still it's a pretty weird patch since we didn't get any skins or updates or reworks or anything else, so I don't know when we're going to get them because this next patch will be the words patch, I think, so we're going to get a championship skin, but apart from that, I don't know if we're going to get anything else. And yeah, that's it for this patch, and before I let you go, go check out the Tropic Hunter as well. It's a free app from Overwolf, you can earn trophies and get points with them, you can also win free red points by joining their lottery, and they will soon have a tournament, the people that get the most points will also win even more red point prizes. Alright, that's it for this one, let me know what you think about this small little patch, and if you want me to do those videos, I did something similar years ago, I did fast patch notes, before patches came out, I would say everything that happens in the next patch a few days before it came out or the day it came out so if you like it drop a like it would help me out and uh, increase the evil algorithm up to boost my videos once more a little bit more subscribe if you're new here or i will sue you and i will see you soon bye bye